Hey space enthusiasts! Today, we're diving into some electrifying news from our very own star, the Sun. Brace yourselves because on August 5th, the Sun unleashed not one, but two massive X-class solar flares. These are the most intense types of solar flares and they pack a punch that can send ripples across our solar system. Let's explore this fiery phenomenon together. First off, let's talk about what a solar flare is. A solar flare is a sudden, intense burst of radiation emanating from the sun's surface. It's like a colossal explosion that releases energy equivalent to millions of hydrogen bombs. These flares are caused by the sun's magnetic field lines getting twisted and snapping, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the form of light, heat, and charged particles. On August 5th, the sun decided to show off its explosive side. It produced two X-class flares, the most powerful category of solar flares. These flares originated from a sunspot region known as AR 3386. Sunspots are cooler, darker areas on the sun's surface where magnetic activity is particularly intense. When the magnetic field lines in these regions become unstable, they can release energy in the form of flares. Why should we care about these solar fireworks? Well, X-class flares have the potential to affect us here on Earth. They can disrupt satellite communications, GPS signals, and even power grids. When these flares are directed towards our planet, they can trigger beautiful but intense geomagnetic storms. These storms can create stunning auroras, also known as the Northern and Southern Lights, but they can also interfere with technology that we rely on daily. The two X-class flares on August 5th were accompanied by coronal mass ejections, or CMEs, which are massive bursts of solar wind and magnetic fields released into space. If these CMEs are directed towards Earth, they can enhance the effects of geomagnetic storms, making the auroras even more spectacular but also increasing the risk of technological disruptions. Now, let's delve into the significance of these recent flares. The Sun is currently in its solar maximum phase, which is the peak of its 11-year activity cycle. During this time, the sun's magnetic field is at its strongest, and solar flares and CMEs become more frequent. The activity we're seeing now is a clear indication that the sun is indeed in a highly active phase. This increased activity provides scientists with valuable opportunities to study the sun's behavior and understand its impact on our solar system. For space weather enthusiasts, this is an exciting time. The increased solar activity means more opportunities to observe and study the sun's dynamic behavior. Solar observatories and space weather monitoring stations around the world are on high alert, capturing every detail of these explosive events. These observations help us predict and prepare for the effects of solar activity on our technology and infrastructure. Imagine standing under the night sky watching a spectacular display of auroras dancing in shades of green, purple, and red. These lights are a direct result of the charged particles from the sun interacting with Earth's magnetic field and atmosphere. While they are a beautiful reminder of our connection to the cosmos, they also highlight the importance of understanding and monitoring space weather. The recent flares also serve as a reminder of the sun's immense power and its influence on our planet. Despite being 93 million miles away, the sun's activity can have a direct impact on our daily lives. It's a humbling reminder of our place in the universe and the dynamic forces at play in our solar system. For more on this explosive event, check out the original article on space.com at sun unleashes two powerful X-class solar flares in a single day. If you're as passionate about space and science as we are, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this update with fellow enthusiasts. Your support helps us bring more thrilling cosmic discoveries to light. Stay tuned for more adventures as we continue to explore the universe.